an hourglass measures the passage of a few minutes or an hour of time. It has two connected vertical glass bulbs allowing a regulated trickle of material from the top to the bottom. Once the top bulb is empty, it can be inverted to begin timing again. Factors affecting the time measured include the amount of sand, the bulb size, the neck width, and the sand quality. Alternatives to sand are powdered eggshell and powdered marble. In modern times, hourglasses are ornamental, or used when an approximate measure suffices as in egg timers for cooking or for board games. History The origin of the hourglass is unclear, although it may have been introduced to Europe by an 8th-century monk named Louis-Prand, who served at the cathedral in Chartres, France. It was not until the 14th century that the hourglass was seen commonly, the earliest firm evidence being a depiction in the 1338 fresco allegory of good government by Ambrogio Lanzetti. Unlike its predecessor the clepsydra, or water clock, which may have been invented in ancient Egypt, the hourglass is believed to have originated in medieval Europe. This theory is based on the fact that the first written records of it were mostly from logbooks of European ships. Written records from the same period mention the hourglass, and it appears in lists of ships stores. An early record is a sales receipt of Thomas de Stetesham, clerk of the English ship La George, in 1345. The same Thomas accounts to have paid at Lescousse, in Flanders, for twelve glass horologies, price of each for a one-half gross, in sterling nines. Item, for four horologies of the same sort, bought there, price of each five gross, making in sterling threes. 4D. Hourglasses were very popular on board ships, as they were the most dependable measurement of time while at sea. Unlike the clepsydra, the motion of the ship while sailing did not affect the hourglass. The fact that the hourglass also used granular materials instead of liquids gave it more accurate measurements, as the clepsydra was prone to get condensation inside it during temperature changes. Seamen found that the hourglass was able to help them determine longitude, distance east or west from a certain point, with reasonable accuracy. The hourglass also found popularity on land as well. As the use of mechanical clocks to indicate the times of events like church services became more common, creating a need to keep track of time, the demand for time measuring devices increased. Hourglasses were essentially inexpensive, as they required no rare technology to make and their contents were not hard to come by, and as the manufacturing of these instruments became more common, their uses became more practical. Hourglasses were commonly seen in use in churches, homes, and workplaces to measure sermons, cooking time, and time spent on breaks from labor. Because they were being used for more everyday tasks, the model of the hourglass began to shrink. The smaller models were more practical and very popular as they made timing more discreet. After 1500 AD, the hourglass was not as widespread as it had been. This was due to the development of the mechanical clock, which became more accurate, smaller and cheaper, and made keeping time easier. The hourglass, however, did not disappear entirely. Although they became relatively less useful as clock technology advanced, hourglasses remained desirable in their design. Some of the most famous hourglasses are the 12 hour hourglass of Charlemagne of France and the hourglasses of Henry VIII of England, made by the artist Holbein in the 16th century. The oldest known surviving hourglass resides in the British Museum in London. Not until the 18th century did the Harrison brothers, John and James, come up with a marine chronometer that significantly improved on the stability of the hourglass at sea. Taking elements from the design logic behind the hourglass, they were able to invent a marine chronometer that was able to accurately measure the journey from England to Jamaica, with only a miscalculation of five seconds, in 1761. Design the shape behind the hourglass is hardly any written evidence of why its external form is the shape that it is. The glass bulbs used, however, have changed in style and design over time. While the main designs have always been ample in shape, the bulbs were not always connected. The first hourglasses were two separate bulbs with a cord wrapped at their union that was then coated in wax to hold the piece together and let sand flow in between. It was not until 1760 that both bulbs were blown together to keep moisture out of the bulbs and regulate the pressure within the bulb that varied the flow. 
Material While some hourglasses actually did use sand as the granular mixture to measure time, many did not use sand at all. The material used in most bulbs was a combination of powdered marble, tin lead oxides, and pulverized, burnt eggshell. Over time, different textures of granule matter were tested to see which gave the most constant flow within the bulbs. It was later discovered that for the perfect flow to be achieved the ratio of granule bead to the width of the bulb neck needed to be 1 slash 12 or more but not greater than one half the neck of the bulb. Practical Uses Hourglasses were an early dependable, reusable and accurate measure of time. The rate of flow of the sand is independent of the depth in the upper reservoir, and the instrument will not freeze in cold weather. From the 15th century onwards, they were being used in a range of applications at sea, in the church, in industry and in cookery. During the voyage of Ferdinand Magellan around the globe, his vessels kept 18 hourglasses per ship. It was the job of a ship's page to turn the hourglasses and thus provide the times for the ship's log. Noon was the reference time for navigation, which did not depend on the glass, as the sun would be at its zenith. More than one hourglass was sometimes fixed in a frame, each with a different running time, for example one hour, 45 minutes, 30 minutes, and 15 minutes. Modern practical uses, while they are no longer widely used for keeping time, some institutions do maintain them. Both houses of the Australian Parliament use three hour glasses to time certain procedures, such as divisions. The sand glass is still widely used as the kitchen egg timer. For cooking eggs, a three minute timer is typical. Hence the name egg timer for three minute hour glasses. Egg timers are sold widely as souvenirs. Sand timers are also sometimes used in games such as Pictionary and Boggle to implement a time constraint on rounds of play, and provide a sense of urgency to the game of quicksand. Symbolic uses. Unlike most other methods of measuring time, the hourglass concretely represents the present as being between the past and the future and this has made it an enduring symbol of time itself. The hourglass, sometimes with the addition of metaphorical wings, is often depicted as a symbol that human existence is fleeting, and that the sands of time will run out for every human life. It was used thus on pirate flags, to strike fear into the hearts of the pirates' victims. In England, hourglasses were sometimes placed in coffins, and they have graced gravestones for centuries. The hourglass was also used in alchemy as a symbol for hour. The former metropolitan borough of Greenwich in London used an hourglass on its coat of arms, symbolizing Greenwich's role as the origin of GMT. The district's successor, the Royal Borough of Greenwich, uses two hourglasses on its coat of arms. Modern symbolic uses Recognition of the hourglass as a symbol of time has survived its obsolescence as a timekeeper. For example, the American television soap opera Days of Our Lives, since its first broadcast in 1965, has displayed an hourglass in its opening credits, with the narration, like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives, spoken by Macdonald Carey. Various computer graphical user interfaces may change the pointer to an hourglass during a period when the program is in the middle of a task, and may not accept user input. During that period other programs, for example in different windows, may work normally. When such an hourglass does not disappear, it suggests a program is in an infinite loop and needs to be terminated, or is waiting for some external event. Unicode has an hourglass symbol at U plus 231B. Hourglass motif. Because of his symmetry, graphic signs resembling an hourglass are seen in the art of cultures which never encountered such objects. Vertical pairs of triangles joined at the apex are common in Native American art. Both in North America, where it can represent, for example, the body of the Thunderbird or an enemy scalp, and in South America, where it is believed to represent a chuncho jungle dweller. In Zulu textiles they symbolize a married man, as opposed to a pair of triangles joined at the base, which symbolize a married woman. Neolithic examples can be seen among Spanish cave paintings. Observers have even given the name hourglass motif to shapes which have more complex symmetry, such as a repeating circle and cross pattern from the Solomon Islands. Both the members of Project TikTok, 
from television series The Time Tunnel and the challenges of the unknown use symbols of the hourglass representing either time travel or time running out. See also, water clock, marine sand glass, references. Further reading, books, Branley, Franklin M. Keeping Time, From the Beginning and Into the 21st Century. Boston, Horton Mifflin Company, uh, Cowan, Harrison J. Time and Its Measurement, From the Stone Age to the Nuclear Age. Cleveland 65. Bibcode, 1958QB209C65, A. Uh, G. Samuel. Henri, Michel. Dolan, D. Mitchell, S. W. Time and Space, Measuring Instruments from the 15th to the 19th Century. Time and Space. Measuring Instruments from the 15th to the 19th Century Bibcode, 1971 TSMI Book, Gia, Smith, Allen. Clocks and Watches, American, European and Japanese Time Pieces. New York, Crescent Books A, Periodicals, Morris, Scott. The Floating Hourglass. Omni. PA 86 A, Peterson, Ivars. Trickling Sand, How an Hourglass Ticks. Science News A.